A family broken by two crime scenes separated by state lines. El Paso police say the shooting death of a 58 year old El Paso woman was at the hands of her husband in a murder suicide. ABC 7's JC Navarrete joins us live from the West El Paso neighborhood where this all started. JC. Steph, it's been a very turbulent 24 hours for this quiet West El Paso neighborhood. Many of those neighbors not knowing why red tape was put up in the first place yesterday evening. A very turbulent neighborhood, a, a very turbulent turn of events, I should say, in these past 24 hours. Those neighbors with questions get their answers today. Had to be escorted home um, by a police officer and past the scene and not knowing what we were going to be passing. So encouraging our children to keep their heads turned just in case we didn't know what would be visible. A neighbor we spoke with, who has to remain anonymous, tells ABC7 this murder-suicide has shaken her entire neighborhood. Our first feeling was just a huge loss for that family because nothing like this has ever ever happened in this area just kind of a feeling of a, a loss of security and wondering okay are we really in a neighborhood that is safe is this something that just happens everywhere or ha have have things changed here 58 year old norma martinez was shot inside her west side home at 6 30 on wednesday soon after discovering the body police began to look for her husband 57 year old mark martinez Border Patrol tells ABC7 he was a 28-year agent that retired back in 2015. Today, DPS troopers spotted his car next to the Sierra Vista Growers Nursery in La Unión, New Mexico. A nearby employee who asked to remain anonymous tells us what she saw. Yeah, so like I noticed a lot of like cop cars going that way, like down the dirt road, like just over and over. There was a ton of them. We noticed there were some helicopters flying really close. Um, and they were just really like hovering for a while. Mark Martinez was found inside the car with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. In a message to Coldwell Banker, the real estate company Norma worked for, described her as a friend and a colleague. The neighbor we spoke with tells us she never expected a tragedy like this to unfold feet away from where she lives. You just never know what's going on inside behind closed doors. And um, I guess it leaves me with the feeling of wanting to make sure that I'm intentional to make sure that um, I know my neighbors and um, just be aware that there's always the possibility of something happening that we don't know and we have to be um, mindful that that situation may be right next door. Truly tragic uh, turning of events here for this West El Paso neighborhood. Uh, and again, prayers do go out to the family uh, who had to endure this horrible tragedy. As this story does continue to develop, we'll of course bring you updates on air and online at KVA.com. Reporting live in West El Paso, JC Navarrete, ABC7.